it's time for more Amiga upgrades. Uh, in this show, I'm going to be upgrading the Amiga 500 this time. And uh, I've got three things that I want to accomplish. Um, the first is I want to replace the uh, the 1.3 ROMs that are inside this machine with some Kickstart 3.1s. And I just got in the mail today a the awesome Indivision. Um, if anybody has seen a previous episode, you'll, you'll recall that I put an Indivision into the Amiga 2000 and I blacked it so much that I want to put one into the A500. And then last of all, but not least, is the ACA 500 Plus, which came fresh in the mail today. So uh, we're going to be sticking that on the side and uh, boosting up this 500. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's crack this baby open. So I'm going to pull out the keyboard. And very carefully take off the grounding wires. dust kicking around in here. So I know what you guys are going to say, but the ACA 500 Plus comes with a 3.1 ROMs. Well, I just happen to have a spare a spare 3.1 ROM kicking around that I, I purchased a while ago. Um, I bought two, one with the intention of putting in the 2000 and one to put in the 500. And uh, I figured I'll just wait. So I was ready to do a, a full set of upgrades on the 500 before I took it apart and put it in. So we've got our, our 1.3 sitting here in its socket and I've got our replacement, so 3.1. Now, move the shielding out of the way. So as I've done before on the, far, on the 2000, it's a super slow lifting and prying, gentle prying on each side of the side of the chip so it's not to bend any pins or bust the plastic housing stubborn You. <sighs> Round two. So we notice we've got a notch on one end. That notch. You can see there's a, there's an etching of a notch, an illustration of a notch on inside the on the motherboard there. So we just need to line those two up. Nice even pressure. Push it down. Okay, now we're going to check to see if uh, everything's still working. Okay, moment of truth. Let's fire it up and see whether we got a 3.1 ROM. Beautiful! Look at that! That's a good sign. Task number one down. Okay, it's time to drop in the... Uh, Indivision scan doubler. So, using the technique that we did before to pull out 3.1s, I'm gonna try and gently remove the Denise chip right here. I've got an idea. Let's 
take off the expansion port cover so that we can get underneath there. There we go. Voila! There we have it. So, first of all, now that we have the, uh, the knee strip out, I'm going to put in the grounding wire, which is actually going to just sit underneath the Indivision board. Next up, let's take our bare Indivision board and we'll slot it in, make sure we get all our pins lined up. There's a pin in the, the toast. Next up, take our Denise chip and we're going to pop it back on top. And last of all, I'm going to get our grounding wire back on. So unlike on the 2000 where we can thread our ribbon cable out through the back through one of those Zorro slot sockets, um, here we've got to kind of get creative and we kind of left our own devices on how we want to hook up a, a VGA monitor. So I've opted to thread it through the side expansion port and since I'm going to be putting an ACA 500 plus on the side here anyway, yeah, this should be okay. This should work for now. I don't really want to be butchering the, the case at all. Power on, see what we got. Whoa! That's a thing of beauty. So I'm putting back the uh, the shielding on top of, over the motherboard here, but we'll, we'll notice one little flaw in the plan. And see, we we'll notice we put the uh, the grounding cable onto one of these holes. We now have this extra extra tab here that we're going to need to remove. So I noticed another problem when I was putting the shielding back on. It was The shielding was just touching the uh, an exposed um, solder point on the, on the Indivision board there. So I took it back off and I just trimmed off Trimmed off a corner. Okay, Let's put everything back together. So installing the ACA 500 Plus is easy as just slotting it onto the side expansion port. Um, put everything back together. I've got the, uh, got the VGA cable hooked up, the ACA 500 Plus, and um, I don't currently have my uh, CF cards. But we're going to fire it up and just see what happens in the boot menu. So we're going to see if uh, everything's working as it should. So we're going to play some games. So we're going to fire up Kickstart 1.3. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you've been able to see how easy it is to upgrade an Amiga 500 with Kickstart ROMs and Indivision ECS. And, uh, and how easy it is to it's just plug and play for the ACA 500 Plus. Um, honestly, I can't say enough about these cards. The, uh, the, they're really just like the Amiga. Um, it just works. So thanks, um, thanks to individual computers and thanks for watching. Have a good day.